in order for me to avoid burnout, I need a strategy. I need a legitimate structure that I can rely on where my brain's not gonna fry. You know, I almost feel like I'm, I'm putting myself in a microwave, hitting the one minute and I'm just blowing up inside of there because with all the with all the information, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn it so fast. And that's just it's not going to work that way. So what I did was I looked at the amount of hours in a year. Okay, I did this about a year or two ago uh, as I really started making more money in my business. I was like, OK, making money is no longer an issue but now it's time. And do we all agree that time is money? Are we in agreement with that? Oh, okay. Okay, so most, most people have issues with making money. The real issue comes with once you've made the money, now how do you manage your time with all this excess money, all this gain? Where, where do you allocate your time? So I'm a big proponent of knowing your numbers. Right, knowing where every dollar goes, what's coming in, what's going out, what debt you have, what's your free cash flow. But as of late, the last year or two, I've been more intrigued with where is my time going? So I just drew some, some stats here and I base it off of the average American. Okay, so these numbers will vary. I just want you to take the principle out of the formula and you can translate it into your own life, okay? So we're all, we're all in agreement. You take 24 hours, you times it by 365, you're gonna get this number. There's 8,760 hours in a year, okay? Right off the top, I take 10%, okay? This is just a principle. You could or could not do it, right? It's just, that's a personal choice. I take 10% 10, 10 off the top. That is what I allocate towards giving, okay? Now, giving your time can mean a lot of different things. Would you agree? I mean, giving could mean something like going to church on Sunday. You're giving your time to go to, you know, receive a sermon, receive a message. So you're offering your time to God in those say, two hours that you're at church. Okay. And you do that once a week. And then maybe you go to Bible study on Wednesday. That's two hours. Maybe you do something at a uh, nonprofit organization that's giving your time. So what I did for myself was, you know, I want to be able to give a percentage of my time per year and, but not burn out. So I set a standard for me, it's 10%. Anything above that, I'm just beating the standard, right? So I'm, I'm setting these standard measurements and this is going to help me realize how much free time I have and also find out where my time is going and where I can reallocate that time to something like studying ICOVES studying AP1, AP2, studying whole life insurance, studying real estate syndication, studying CBDCs, right? Like covering these different topics. So the first thing for me, 10% off the top, that's 876 hours. The next thing, this is something we all do. We literally can't get rid of it. We have to do it. The average person sleeps eight hours a day, right? That number can vary. I saw a couple statistics, maybe between as low as six hours, I would say, if we're looking at the average American, they're probably sleeping eight hours a day. All right. That's 33% of the amount of time there is in a year. That's insane. So that equates to 2,920 hours. You just spend sleeping, right? So we have to either redirect sleep, redirect giving, right? We're, we're, we're thinking, we're seeing where can I redirect time? So I'm just going to lay out these different things and go through it real quick. So you've got sleeping. That's over 30% of your time, 2,920 hours. Then I looked at the average work week, 40 hours. That's you going to work. And I just did 40 hours times 52. Obviously there, that number can get reduced because vacation, time off, uh, sick time, yada, yada. But just average it out. That's 2,080 hours that you're working. And that'll probably factor in, uh, you know, overtime, uh, weeks, et cetera, et cetera. So that's 24% of your time. Then. This is being super conservative. I was looking at the amount of time people spend watching TV or say social media. It's, it's like a couple hours a day. So I just took 10% off the top of the amount of hours in here, 876. That's how much time the average person is wasting per year. 
and that'll you know break down to a couple hours a day that you just waste okay here's the next one work commute average person commutes 328 hours a year that's roughly if i'm not mistaken uh if i'm not uh, let me see i think it's like an an hour uh, a day or less roughly i was looking up some stats on on google now that can obviously vary if you live an hour away from your job um you know i know my my stepdad commutes almost an hour uh from his job and if there's traffic it could be an hour and a half if there's an accident it could be two hours so that can vary these are these are just being low estimates just to get an idea right so work with me so just you're writing the, the principle down you need to calculate how much time am i giving how much time do i sleep what is my uh, average work hour week for my career job business how many hours am i working per week you look at the time you waste in a day your work commute the amount of time the next one is getting ready how much time do you take getting ready the average is anywhere from 11 to 30 minutes to get ready i think that's ridiculous it takes me at least 45 minutes to get ready women over an hour no doubt i've seen this so i know women take longer than men on average so i know that number is probably gonna be higher but i just went with what google said and i just kind of rounded it that's 200 hours a year you spend just getting ready that's taking a shower brush your teeth wash your hair uh wash your face put sunscreen on put lotion on figure out what outfit you're gonna wear for the day right deodorant cologne perfume etc right and then check this one out eating you and i spend 400 hours a year on average eating that's factoring in the three meals a day so you're roughly 20 minutes or so you spend just eating right and there's a couple other things on here uh, but i just kind of took the main ones you can even try to factor in vacation holidays birthdays spending time with the family right 